This video is sponsored by Carnivore Companion. Check out our newly released seasoning steak dust along with our flagship seasoning smokestack and our bestseller Tuckologem. Use the code CCUTube10 at CarnivoreCompanion.com to save 10% off your first order. Hey there my meaty friends. I'm Reed aka Carnivore Chef. In today's video I just want to talk to you about this diet. Things I need to say. Things that people comment pretty consistently about. The food I make and how they're using it. Addressing a couple of the uh, criticisms I get from probably trolls, but still gonna address them. And just a few other little things. So to keep this from being too boring, I'm just gonna kinda put something up right here. If you're watching this video, I, I truly thank you. My, my channel's grown a lot over the past few months and it's been really amazing to just have that opportunity to have that happen. Talk to a good few of you. Thank you for commenting on videos and sharing your experiences and your praises, but I've noticed there's a big influx of people that are just starting out on the carnivore diet and they're, you know, a two, maybe three weeks into the diet and they're using my recipes. And that's fine. You can do what you want. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life, but I do want to say this. I, I think that if you're doing this diet, you need to do it for a better reason than you think you're just going to lose weight because you can gain weight on this diet. I've done it. I've, I've done it over many different times now. Some of it on purpose, some of it just to see if I could, some of it just, you know, just living life. So I've been on this diet for over two years now. And at the very beginning, I probably dropped 30 pounds in the matter of a month, which is probably mostly water weight. But then it kind of continued. Like I lost 15 pounds the next month and then 12 pounds and just a little bit ever since then. I don't do this diet to lose weight. I do this diet for my mental health. It will always be about that. I've only stuck to this diet for so long is because it's the only thing I've found that helps my brain process all this depression that's within it all the time. So that's my reason as to why I stick to it. I want you to be able to find the same thing. Yes, you can lose weight on this diet, but you can lose weight on any diet. I firmly believe in the calorie deficit. I've seen it work on myself. I've seen it work for others. It's probably not the best plan of action for everyone. Sometimes you're just hormonally imbalanced and you just need to eat more. Probably gain a little weight, but you might lose it again. But I'm not a doctor. I'm a fucking chef. <laughs> Don't listen to me for medical advice. All I've got to say is that I think that if you're going to do this diet, give yourself a solid 30 days where you're eating nothing but meat and salt. Whatever you're really allowing yourself. If you're allowing cheese, eat some cheese, but don't go crazy. Personally, when I started, I went a solid 30 days where I ate nothing but ground beef and pork and eggs and just as much as I wanted when I wanted it. So basically, if I had a craving for sugar, if I had a craving for anything that was outside of the diet, I would just eat meat. I would eat meat until I wasn't hungry anymore. And I lost 30 pounds just by doing that. And I probably was eating 5,000 calories a day. But I think that's because I was so hormonally imbalanced that this kind of rectified that. So all I'm really trying to say is that if you are new to this diet, give it a little bit longer before you try my recipes. I really do appreciate you watching my videos and trying these recipes, but I also want you to feel the full experience of what this diet can offer besides weight loss. Just the energy and the mental clarity, it's, it's worth it alone. And I know there's some things in my videos that cause triggers, like histamine responses and autoimmune responses for a, a bunch of different people, and it could be the same for you. These things don't particularly cause me many issues. Some of them do. I still eat them, but I'm trying to get interesting content out there, and I'm trying to be as creative as possible within the confines of the diet. And this is even within the confines of how I do the diet. This might not work for you. This isn't one size fits all. It, it can be outside of the norm. It could be completely within the boundaries of just literally beef and salt. Because there's plenty of people that do that. This is the most restrictive diet I've ever done. And it's hard to be able to stick to it whenever you don't have a good motivation. But along those lines, I've gotten plenty of criticism about how I haven't lost weight or my hands are fat or stupid shit like that. It bothers me in the moment, but I block those people or I just delete the comment or whatever. But those people that are commenting these things don't know me or my life. They don't know what I've done. They don't know that I've weighed 400 pounds two times in my life. The first time I weighed 400 pounds, I lost 120 pounds in six months. And the second time I ballooned back up because I started working in a kitchen as a chef and I was just kind of off the whole time. And I got back to 400 pounds, started a carnivore diet, down to about 320 at this moment. The lowest I've been is 302 doing the carnivore diet. So... There's only been a few times in my life where I tried to do like a cut and it worked out and I didn't go completely crazy. But there's been mo the majority of times I've tried to do those, it's just drives me crazy. Numbers drive me crazy. Statistics drive me crazy. I'm obsessive about things like that. So currently, I don't care. I'm taking care of my parents. My dad just had major surgery. I really don't give a shit how I look. I, I feel pretty good. I work out as much as I want to. 
and I feel fine. I'm, I'm not worried about a number on a scale. At the end of the day, that's not gonna make me a better person. It's not gonna make me feel happy. The only thing I could think of that it might do is make my joints feel a little bit better, but even those don't feel that bad. As long as I stretch and get my normal sleep in, I'm pretty okay at this point. So if you're worried about the way I look, go fuck yourself. Worry about the way you look. I don't care how you look. Stop worrying about how people look. People are trying their hardest, okay? That's 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 it. That's all people are trying to do. I know a lot of people are just trolling out there and that's fine. Go, go be sad on your own, all right? But for the rest of us, just focus on yourself a little bit. The next thing I wanna talk about is this channel. I feel like I put myself in this box of the guy that kind of mushes pork rinds into different things because that's what my recipes are a lot of the time. Nobody's outright said it, but I think it all the time. And I'm at the point in my life and in this diet where I'll eat fruit from time to time. I don't have any issues eating fruit. Nothing bad happens. Don't have any stomach issues. I don't have any autoimmune issues from it. So I'll eat an orange from time to time or some strawberries and that doesn't bother me. But like I said, I've been on this diet for over two years now. I know, I know very specifically a lot of the things that cause issues. Like for instance, I, I ate eggs for the first year of this diet and going into the second year of it, I realized that eggs were causing me severe gastrointestinal distress, just immediately sick and, and nauseated. Didn't, and I was just like, what was what happening? And so I just spent two weeks, cut eggs out, felt good, put them back in, ate one egg, ate one fried egg, cooked it all the way through and yolk wasn't running or anything. Sick, just exact same. So I was like, well shit, I guess I'm having intolerance to eggs now. But it is what it is. Uh, I still eat eggs. I don't have them. I don't even have them every week. I'll eat them maybe once every couple weeks. I can eat it. I can tolerate about three eggs every couple weeks and be fine. But I still like them. I just, I just don't need them as often because I know what they'll do to me. But with that said, I kind of just want to do other recipes besides carnivore diet recipes. I am a chef after all, albeit probably not the best chef in the world, but I do like to make things and make interesting things. So you may see from time to time videos of like, I want to do like an orange chicken dish from, from like Panda Express, but use real oranges, use the whole orange and then add collagen to it. You know, just kind of, kind of incorporate everything that I know culinarily with things that I think people are willing to eat. I know there's a lot of people on camp, very strict carnivore diet, all the way to camp animal based, which is like a very loosely based paleo carnivore keto fucking thing. It's just, at the end of the day, it's just words. Uh, you can call yourself one thing or the other, but in reality, all you really know is that you specifically can't eat X, but you can eat Y. You might find out that you are intolerant to pork, but you can eat beef and cucumbers for whatever reason all day and you're fine. Like your num none of your test results look bad or your lab results are, are, are off or anything like that. And that's awesome. I want to be able to provide recipes for those ingredients. So I guess if you have a problem with that, feel free to unsubscribe. I don't know why you would. At the end of the day, this is just entertainment really. Yes, the recipes can be made. If, if you're watching it and you're entertained, that makes me happy. If you make it, that's so cool. That makes me feel good, but it's nothing, it's not my goal. I wanna entertain you first and give you a good recipe second. And I've been toying with this idea for a while now. I just don't want to put things out and then people be surprised by it. It's kind of like a vegan suddenly going strict carnivore and just having those same type of people like lose their mind in my comment section. But that's about it. I don't really have much more to say. This is probably a much longer video than you're used to and I thank you for watching it. If you will check out this next video that will be over here, I believe, it'll be suggested. Just click it, watch it, like it, and watch it. Share it if you want to. It won't hurt my feelings. Um, subscribe to the channel, it's over here. And I'll see you next time.